I'm connected to, but I'm connected to something bigger than what you take away from me. All right, that's what Paul was trying to get us to see here in the text. We got to get our minds on God. See, when you keep your mind on God, it moves you to another place. Huh? Yeah, yes, yes. And the trouble may not change. Uh, situation may not change. But you change because you walking above your pressures and your trouble. Huh? Bless the name of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts on the inside, y'all. Somebody say inside. Yeah, we got to get out of here. How to withstand the pressure. Yeah, yeah, I recommend to you that you ought to become the prisoner of the Lord. I suggest that you ought to be, understand that you are a partaker of the promise of God given to Abraham. And you are an heir of God and joint heir amen, to Christ. Bless the name of God. But if you're going to, amen, know how to withstand the pressure, uh, not only should you, amen, amen, become a prisoner of the Lord. Not only should you understand you're a partaker of the promise, but last but not least right there in verse 7, my sisters and brothers, I suggest to you that you ought to be a practitioner of the power. Somebody say power. See, right there in the text it says, wherefore I was made a minister. Deacon Penance, he goes on, says, according to the gift of grace, of the grace of God, given unto me by the effectual. Somebody say effectual effectual working of his power see God's power yeah has effectual work in it see so many times we sing about power because we don't always expect power to be manifested I need a praying church in here yes sister Stanfield yeah the Lord told Zechariah in Zechariah 4 and 6, he said, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Well, he was giving us, giving Zechariah a picture of the things to come. He was letting them know that, yeah, my power comes upon folk, but in the new day, my power should be in my people. Anybody walking with me? Well, the Lord Jesus tells the saints of God. Yeah, he tells them now. Yeah, according to Luke in Acts 1 and 8. Yeah, he told his disciples before he ascended, he told them to go wait on power. He says, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And I came by to tell somebody, Carolyn, we ought to stop being ashamed of God's power. I want the Lord to show forth himself in your life and in my life. He's already in there. And I came by to tell somebody they ought to turn the switch on and allow the power of God to flow in their lives. Well, somebody said, well, Reverend, what would the power do? Well, the text said in Acts 1-8 that you receive power to become witnesses. In other words, you will be like Paul and you won't be afraid of what man can do to you. And even if they incarcerate you, you still going to walk in the power of the Lord. But I came by to tell you not only that, but you will have power to live. Anybody hear what I'm saying in here? I don't know where you find yourself today, but you need to get past your situation. You need to understand how to withstand the pressure. And I came by to tell you, you got a power that's greater than your power. I like Gina, and I want Gina to pray with me. I like Frank, and I want him to be on the other side of me. But there is a power greater than their power. There is a power that comes from on high. Anybody hear what I'm saying? And I don't want anybody to tell me again if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If the Lord gives you a text and, and you tell me, you, uh, amen, that you can't do what the Lord told you to do. Because the Lord will give you power to live. Somebody say power to live. 
I can do all things. Sister Williams, uh, through Christ who strengthened me. I don't know how you feel about it, but I got power to live. But not only do I have power to live, I got power to love. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Anybody need some love in here? I'm asking the Holy Spirit to give me what you need so I can love you. Love you when you love me and love you when you don't love me. Anybody hear what I'm saying? And I came by to tell somebody that we ought to have the love of God in our lives. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah, John the writer said, we know that we pass from death into life because we have love for the brethren. And I came by to tell somebody, John, that we don't have to worry about how folk treat us, but we ought to be concerned about how we treat the other man. Anybody hear what I'm saying? If you want somebody to see the power of God in your life and in my life, I believe we ought to walk in the power of love. Love will raise somebody who's been way down. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Love will encourage our poor soul to look up and stop looking down. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I believe the Lord loved me. He loved me in spite of myself. The reason why I'm here today is because God loved me. He loved me in spite of me. But now I have his spirit in me. And I got to love the Lord with all my heart, my soul, and my strength. But I can't stop right there. I got to love my sister and brother. He gave me the power to love. He gave me the power to live. But if I'm going to be a practitioner, amen, of the power of God, he gave me the power to lean. Anybody hear what I said? He gave me the power to lean. God is a great God. He sits high and he looks low. And he keeps right on blessing me. Anybody blessed in here? If you know that you're alive today, the Lord gave you another day. He gave you some more time. And we ought to be like the Lord. Anybody hear what I'm saying? He gave me more than I can ever give. So I got to have the power to lean. Just as he gave me, Melinda, I got to give back to him. Anybody want to be like the Lord in here? The Lord says, give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking, running over some men give unto your bosom. Not talking about money, but give your life. Give yourself. Give to the Lord. And the Lord promises you he'll give back to you. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Huh? Anybody making up their mind that they want to know how to withstand the pressure? When y'all go out and sip your Coca-Cola today, eat a piece of chicken, piece of bread. You may run into somebody and you see pressure all over them. We ought to be praying for a divine appointment right now. We ought to be looking for them to come before us. So we can share how they can get over the pressure. Tell them. So, so, brother, you ought to just give yourself to God. Become a prisoner of the Lord and get past your own situation and see God. Huh? Understand that God has precious promises for you. And his promises a yay and amen. Whatever he said, he'll do it. I may fail you, others may fail you, but God, his promises are true. You can stand on them. And since I tell you, brother, you ought to become a practitioner of the power. You may not be able to do much. 
in yourself. But you can do a lot when you yield self to God. Because he gives us power to live. Not just to exist, but power to live. See, Paul, he lived even though he was incarcerated. Some folk was just being existing. They're being mad, been pouting. I thought the Lord was with me. I thought he said, he'll never leave me nor forsake me. Paul understood that God was right there in his bondage. And I have as much value right here in this jail cell as I do on the outside of it. God will give you power to live in your situation, through your situation. If he brings you to it, he can take you through it. But we got to depend on him. Huh? Power to love. Just learn how to love upon God. If you're going through just love up on God and start worshiping in spite of giving thanks for your life to know what you're going through. Just love up on him and start worshiping. Start praising him. Tell him how great and how marvelous, how wonderful he is. Tell him of the great things he's done in this world. How he was one of putting the mountains up through the stars against the backdrop of heaven. Just tell him how marvelous and how glorious he is. See if he don't change your spirit. He'll lift you up. Just love up on him. And just start walking in his love. And do what you can. Just because you don't have stuff. Just because you don't have money. Doesn't, doesn't mean you don't have something to give. <laughs> Sometimes, Andrew, all I need is just somebody to talk to me. If I'm going through, you can give me plenty of money. I'm still hurting. But you give me yourself. Give me some time. Just to know somebody's standing with me. Huh? Bless the name of the Lord. I might take some money, but I, I want some folk, even somebody in the right mind to get a little bit of it. They want somebody in enjoy it with them. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Bless the name of God. Amen. Power to love and power to lend. Amen. Rest on your feet. Amen. How do we stand the pressure? Y'all tell the folk. Amen. Amen. You ought to become a prisoner of the law. You ought to become a partaker of the promise. A practitioner of the power. We thank you so much for watching Beulah Baptist Church. That's right. Beulah Baptist Church, located at 3027 Highway 119 North in Leesburg, North Carolina, where the pastor is Pastor Jerry Wilson. Preaching an awesome and teaching message will definitely bless your heart and soul. Yes, this church is biblically based, designed to minister to the whole body of Christ. Yes, only 30 minutes away from Greensboro. Yes, our services is every Sunday. Sunday school service is at 9 a.m. And then morning worship service at 10 a.m. Then on Tuesdays, it's prayer and Bible study starting at 6.30. Yes, if you're looking for an awesome church and a man of God that preaches and teaches the Word of God, Beulah Baptist Church is a church you need to come to. Only 30 minutes from Greensboro, only 15 minutes from Burlington. Yes, their worship service again is at 10 a.m. Also, prayer and Bible study on Tuesday starting at 6.30. Beulah Baptist Church, 3027 Highway 119 North in Leesburg, North Carolina. Now, thank you so much for watching this powerful message from Pastor Jerry Wilton of Beulah Baptist Church. And may God continue to richly bless you.